to do like a crazy <laughs> four hour dance routine every night on a tour, you know? But then simultaneously yeah. be plus Please, size. Please, Lizzo, can I have a Ritz cracker? And your, your only caloric intake is 12 P grams of potassium up your <laughs> from, from the <laughs> bananas. <laughs> well, how hungry are you? How's it going, guys? Hello. Welcome Hello. back to Cream Crew. We had a nice little break, didn't we? We did. This is uh, this is officially episode 100 because we sacrificed the past episode 100s to the patrons. So this is official episode 100. And if you want to listen to secret episode 100, it is uh, it is on Patreon. No. So many secrets. So much time. This is this is going to be episode 104, I think, or 103. Epic. You know, because yeah. we did this in order. We did how do this was, in order. Uh, how was everyone's little breaky break? Everyone's good? It's good. I'm still kind of sick, but... Oh, yeah. How'd you get sick? I think it was an accumu accumulation of uh, mostly Vegas. Vegas, I think, <laughs> fucked everybody up. That's a different kind of sick, bro. Everybody else got sick first, and then I think I'm the second wave, and I think probably there's one more wave of people who are going to get sick. I was talking to my buddy, and he's like, I think I got four different new strains of COVID. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> Um, Do you reckon that's what it is? Think it's COVID? No, I think it's just flu, uh, I, I, well, it's flu symptoms, but I uh, I don't think it's the COVID or anything. Like, there's not a lot of the other COVID symptoms unless they've changed. But it's been like three days, and I feel better already. Remember when I had COVID back in the day? I feel like I, I was pretty fucked for like probably like a week or so, or like two weeks. I can't remember how long it took. Did you guys ever get COVID or no? Yeah, I got it once. Boys. How long were you sick for? Do you remember? I was sick for like, like, like bedridden for a couple of days. And then after that, I kind of, I was like, I don't know, took me a couple more days to get better. And then I so was So you'd say like, good. maybe like just like a, like four or five days. Yeah. Yeah. About the same. I want to say, yeah, it was like a week. You were to four or five days too, Don? Yeah. <clears throat> I remember, like, when it first hit me, yeah, I think it was, like, two or two or three days of, like, yeah, like, miserable, like, no smell or anything, all that jazz. Oh, and that's right, yeah, I think you had the smell thing. I, I've never met yeah, anyone else. That, that was, like, the, always the big indicator. I remember I woke up, I was, like, so stuffed, I was like, oh, my God, I'm gonna die. And I got up, and I, um, this is where I still live in Portland, got up in my apartment in there, like, walked over the bathroom, and, like... Now I, I, I've done this forever. I don't know why I do. I get all nervous and I smell my hand, but it's like your skin doesn't really smell like anything. So I was like freaking out and I was sitting there and I was like, my, my mouth just, I was definitely sleeping with my mouth open and my mouth, just disgusting texture. So I was brushing my teeth and I spit it out and I was like, why does that feel weird? Why is this weird? And I was like, I didn't taste, and that's what it was, is I didn't taste any of, like, the mint that was in the, the toothpaste. And I was like, oh, fuck. And I opened up my mouthwash, and I stuck my nose in the hole of it, and I, like, br like breathed really, really deep. And I remember I, like, just, like, dropped the thing, and I, like, yelled from the bathroom to Allison. And I was like, I can't smell! <laughs> and I remember I was so sad because me and Allison both had COVID on our birthdays that year. Hers, her birthday's on the 26th, and mine's on the 30th. Wow. And I remember by the time my birthday came around, she was fine. And she like went out and got me like a red velvet cupcake for my uh, birthday. And I was like sitting on the couch watching X-Files just like dying. <laughs> and then she came up. She's like, happy birthday. And I was like, thanks. And Thank I like, you. I took a bite of it and couldn't taste it. And I remember I like just like a, a oh, tear no, came out bro. of my eye. I was like, <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> probably, it's probably like mashed potatoes without taste. Just mush. It literally was. It was just like empty texture, <laughs> which which also without the without the taste, it was like super weird to get down. Like I was like, I had to drink something. I was like, ugh, like this. It's just felt super dry, and it was just like an awkward throat feel kind of thing. You think that could be a cure for obesity? If Definitely. We, we could just if people could fuck obese if people can brains taste up so they can't taste anything. Well, yeah, because that's the that's the entire thing with food and addiction to food. At least my thing, too, is like it's just like a small dopamine thing. Like a taste is it gets associated with emotion and stuff. Mm -hmm. So like if you taste something that you like, it can calm you down. It can like make you happy for a brief time, you know. So if, if, if that was never in the factor, you would also eat things that are just good for you that don't have that kind of 
um, response to your brain. So you would definitely lose weight a bunch. Like if you, if you're, it would, life would be terrible, you know, that would, that would suck, but you would, you know, be in shape. Yeah. You'd probably get a lot of people well, there's that, killing um, themselves as well. There's that Ozempic thing as well. You heard well, of that? No. I saw, I did see an article where I think like all the diets, like all those diets that have been around for 20 years that like everyone's mom has tried all those companies, you know? Or, uh, oh, like Adkins exactly. and whatever else. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, all those business models are really suffering because of I think this drug. I guess like, like it, it doesn't it actually work or something? And you don't have to. Exercise. Are you talking about the one that the celebrities use? Whatever. I feel like I've heard yeah, of something. What is it called? It. Ozempic. It Oz apparently it really fucking works. It's just I think it can like kill you or something. I don't well, know. that's always the catch twenty two with it, isn't it? That's always the fucking catch in it. <laughs> You're gonna die. No, I, I've heard the I've I've heard of this though. Well, I heard the thing about it too is that I thought that it suppresses appetite, but I also heard that it lowers risk for heart attacks. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Why, why wouldn't you take it? But it's I wonder. I wonder if that's just them saying that because you're losing like fat around your heart. But I wonder how you much what, strain probably. it puts on it. Exactly. Wonder how much of a strain it puts on it. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's too, it's I don't know. So. Yeah. I, I try it. Fuck it. <laughs> Well, I mean, if it's like the difference between dying of a heart attack or like not, you know what I mean? It kind of makes yeah. sense. So yeah, we should we should try and slip it into Lizzo's drinks and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, she comes out and she just looks exactly like Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Ozempic is amazing. Oh my god, that's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Except incredible. like when when fat comedians get skinny and they're not funny anymore, she's not gonna be able to like dance or sing like she used to. Yeah, people go to the shows just to laugh. That's what you're saying? <laughs> and she she becomes a comedic spectacle. Well, you know what's the thing about that? I was wondering about that too. Is I wonder with really fat singers and on stage people, it's associated or like it's people don't have any gripes with them standing and not doing anything for a performance. Right. And I'm going to be, I have not seen a Lizzo performance. So I can't, you know, I, I'm only assuming that she is like the same as like, you know, fucking. Beyonce. Yeah, no, I, I assume <laughs> that it's the same as like, who the fuck is that guy? That guy that had that like harmonica and he's like, look around pretty good. And is it, is it everything that I want it to be? There's like a popular band from the nineties. It's a big fat fuck. At harmonica, doesn't matter. He didn't do shit on stage. He just kind of stood there and he kind of smiled, and looked around, stood there and wheezed into his harmonica. Oh, you know, it's another good song with them say, "Yeah, oh yeah, why you have to give me the run around?" Mm -hmm. That's one of the songs. Yeah, my yeah, exactly. Play. Yeah. Yeah. And it goes into a harmonica solo. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're getting off track. Where were you going with this? Lizzo oh, sorry. Dancing. So the whole thing is that if he lost, well, the whole thing is that I wonder if people, if, if the fat people lost all the weight, like they wouldn't know how to do stage performance stuff probably. Right. So they'd probably look really awkward on stage. And that's when you'd be like, yeah, it's just like a fucking I, guy's just standing there. I thought she, I I thought she dances like too, though. Yeah, that's so. I, that's, like I, well, I, I want to say that I have not seen. I don't have any idea. Well, that, was, seen her. Dude, that was the I'll whole part you, of the. I'll tell you how it works. Go on. Lizzo definitely does dancing right, but what it really is is an intricate, elaborate uh, combination of pyrotechnics and like thirty body doubles. So <laughs> oh, there's well, an there explosion of smoke, and then she quickly like runs off, and another fat giant like black woman runs on and carries on the dance. <laughs> Wait, that's and awesome. Through that, she can get through a whole show. Wasn't that what yeah. was happening with her backup dancers anyway? That was part of the controversy. Is it was like extremely. Well, I thought that she was. Well, it's, it's, no, she was like making them eat. Well, no, I, I mean, apart from <laughs> raping them with bananas or whatever. <laughs> Like, I think there was a thing. Well, I thought that she was starving them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, to be a to be a backup well, dancer, to go around, is to do that? like to do like a crazy <laughs> four hour dance routine every night on a tour, you know, but then simultaneously yeah. be plus Please, size. Please, Lizzo, can I have a Ritz cracker? And your your only caloric intake is a fucking twelve P grams of potassium up your pussy <laughs> from, from the pussy bananas. <laughs> Well, how hungry are you? Well, I've been in a caloric deficit for about four months on the Lizzo tour. In it, Lizzo gets bigger whilst the 
the thinners get thinner. It's a fucking it's a crime. Well, I think they were all plus sized for backup singers. That was the kind of extra funny part that of it. That was very progressive of you, Don. Well, you know. Talking about Lizzo fat, uh, backup singers, this was just what they would, that's how you'd find them on Google, you know? Whereas, uh. That's, that's true. That's what would be whereas on their if LinkedIn. we were making plus fun of size fat backup people, dancer. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, that's wait. funny. They start at the start of the tour. They they all weigh like four hundred pounds, and by the end, they're anemic. Well, they're well I wonder. They're, they're probably I, get I fired if, before if, then too. They have to keep up the look. You know, you've lost too much weight. You're dancing for four hours a night, and we're not feeding you. So, tough to on August first, um, three women who previously performed as part of Lizzo's Big Girls Dance Troupe. <laughs> filed lawsuits accusing the Truth Hurts singer of sexual harassment and fostering a hostile work environment. Oh, yes. Did you see what that journo just did there? In a, yes. Uh, the Truth Hurts yes, singer. Yes, yes, I like that. Oh, that, was, a, that was slick. In a statement <laughs> shared with The Independent on Wednesday, uh, Lizzo's attorney, Martin Singer, said, in quotes, uh, they intend to sue for malicious prosecution after she prevails and these uh, sp uh, specious claims are dismissed. Specious? Specious? S-P-E... Yep. Yeah, specious? I don't think I've ever heard that word. Yeah. Um, I don't know if... I don't know whatever... Um, and all Lizzo said, the lawsuit is a sham. <laughs> That's all Lizzo said. <laughs> 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 Fucking subtitle. <laughs> Lizzo says the lawsuit is a sham. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so yeah. He says you're gonna get cramps if you don't eat but your potassium. Pila <laughs> ku banana bunna. <laughs> is her is her attorney is her attorney the guy who's like by Jabba the Hut too? It's like the guy yeah, with like the dude, giant tail head, like whatever. Him. Yeah. Yeah. He's translating. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, I uh. I don't know. I don't know what ever happened to that thing, man. I have no idea. All no, I know is well, I hope the right party won. Huh? She's untouchable. That's the problem. I don't know. I think she's been kind of... I don't know if she's been blacklisted from Hollywood stuff. Because I don't think I've really heard of her being in any events or anything. So I wonder if the story was just like people are like, eh, I'm good. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to touch that Yeah, we, do we really need to book the... Banana rapist woman. Oh yeah, exactly. I mean, if you switch, if you put it like that, you're like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so how are you feeling yeah. about the banana rapist woman? So, uh, I don't even. Her songs weren't that good. I did. I did like the. Uh, I, I did. I did like the the truth hurts one. The that's a good. One. Why make great till they gotta be great? Whatever that song. That one's pretty good. Who did she do? Who who's the artist who does the? Um, uh, she's a devil. She's a uh, bad little bitch. She a rebel. Is that Lizzo? Doja Cat. Oh yeah, you're probably right. It's probably Doja. Cat. Yeah, Doja Cat. Paint the town red. Is what the song's called. That's a little catchy jingle, isn't it? I love Doja Cat, man. That fucking that makes me get into my boss bitch energy. Oh, absolutely. Uh, my favorite Doja Cat song is uh, "You're Right" or "You Right." Oh yeah, that's to be fair. It's also a that's classic. a good one too. You right. Uh, it's uh, a. It Girl, going, I want you like I want me to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, was that with The weekend? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Look at us. We've got all this knowledge. There's this new. Uh, this n There's this new metal band. A new, new metal band that kind of has like a Deftones kind of vibe that I'm enjoying. The, uh, alone. the band Let is called uh, Chig. C H I G. Chig. Yeah, the the Sounds song like is called slur, Joy. It? it does kind of sound like a word that you shouldn't say, but I don't. Th I think it's fine. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> and then fucking uh, Chigs. Uh, Joy is the song by Chig, and then also there's a Verve cover of Bittersweet Symphony by a band called Deco. That's been really good too. Kind of has like some Tears for Fears vibes, so I've been jamming those quite a bit. And also, never, never I've been really... listening to Bon Jovi like a motherfucker lately. That's so funny. God, I love Bon Jovi. Eat fuck. 
You never. Hey, I sent you a picture of my f- delightful new trooper statue, and you fucking ignored me. You did. Well, you probably just caught me in between texts or something like that. Let me see. In between, what, what does that mean? You know, whenever like someone texts, you're texting somebody. Someone texts you, the little thing goes down. You click it, and you're like, oh, and then you click out because you're finishing your thought, like that kind of thing. No. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry. But anyway, that is a nice trooper. That is a nice trooper. I actually, I actually meant to cancel it, and then it f- I forgot, and it showed up on my door. That's pretty funny. I was like, fuck. That's a nice fucking surprise, though. Kind of, yeah. It was. I was a little bit like, oh, I should have canceled this, but I didn't. I was kind of, With the know, little, little Mad Max Fury Road car, and to have the Frazetta print in the back, I mean, that's, that's a beautiful image right know. here. It says, don't fuck me, doesn't it? it does. <laughs> no, no, it says, it says, I'm extremely comfortable with no pussy. <laughs> exactly, which if anything is attractive. That is and attractive. In a reverse psychology kind of way. Exactly, because they're like, well, why don't they it. want it? You know? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> why doesn't he want me? I don't understand. Why does the Sonic statue shrine in his background say he doesn't want me? <laughs> <laughs> this oh, whatever, is dude. I don't. I don't need it. <laughs> I tell you one thing. I um every time I go to like the grocery store, um this is. This does not follow on at all. I guess what it what it says is I'm desired by men and not women. But uh, when I go to the heavy or whatever in my Avenge Me Brother t-shirt, almost exclusively, my uh, my 24 to 35 year old white male f- friends of of the planet Earth fucking have a wry smile when they see my jumper. No idea who I am, but they know the jumper or the t-shirt or whatever, and I'm always like, <laughs> yeah. They don't know that I made this. You have no idea that it's mine. <laughs> you have no idea whose presence you're in. What did I what did I see the other day? That kind of gave me a similar vibe. It's like the same thing with like uh the fuck was it? I can't remember. Never mind. I thought I had a similar I fucking thing. I can't remember. I did I did cringe to myself though, because uh, I was walking by and some guy was like, "Oh, nice, nice uh, sweater, dude, or whatever the fuck." Because clearly he was like, you know, into the cartoon. And I went, "Ah, oh, thanks, brother." Just you know, like brother, like thanks, brother. But then thanks, I realized brother. only steps further that he probably thought I was like quoting the like brother, you know, Ooh. brother. That's bad. And I was like, oh, God, I hope he doesn't. And also with my accent, he probably thought I was, like, putting, putting that on as well. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking cringed loser. Thanks, brother. Thanks, brother. I don't think yeah. I like it that much. But okay, thanks. <laughs> what do you Whatever, mean, dude, brother? He has, like, green hair. He's not talking to, to anyone about anything. He has green. Green is a very bold choice. I think you have to be very successful to pull it's off joke, green baby. hair. Yeah, that is the first thing that I think of. Uh, yeah, there's a uh, gr- the, the coloring your hair in general. You have to be in a pretty good place. It's like hand tattoos. Obviously, one is more permanent than the other, but I feel like you have to be in a pretty particular place in your life to pull those off. Bro, I'm like that is the only kind of tattoo I want. Honestly, you want a hand tattoo? What would you get? I want f- I want gits across my fingies. That'd be nice. I like I like that. Yeah. Compositionally, it feels just, off though. That's all you have. Yeah, you can't body. just. That's the thing. You if know? I did that, I would then have to do everything because I can't. I, I'm all or nothing. And you're right. Like, you can't just have fingy tattoos. You have to have, like, <laughs> a lot. When Space King kicks off, and in 10 years, when you're bald as shit, I, I fully expect you to be a person that has, like, the Viking beard, bald head, glasses, <laughs> and, like, arm sleeves. But it's all, like, f- really fucking cringy, photorealistic lions and clocks. And shit. <laughs> roses. <laughs> yeah, oh, rose. fuck yeah, dude. I'm gonna have so one, many one roses, sleeve. One sleeve lines. is just completely dedicated to 40k and stuff. Oh yeah, that dude. That is. But the, the thing problem. is about it is that you're ripped as shit though by this point. You know what I mean? So I mean, yeah. you know, does that make it okay? Well, I think you know. I think being physically in shape kind of makes it well to an extent. I think if you go into like Hulk territories, tattoos look really dumb. Like Rich Piana, I thought he looked fucking really really weird with his like tribal tattoos on his arms just too jack yeah like yeah. it's just it gets to a point well that's just also me you know people if they're they're wanting to get big because also there's nothing i mean i like rich piana i thought he was good i liked his videos and shit like that but 
I just would never, I have no desire to be that big and nor would I want to be that big. I, I feel like I'm, just, I'm at a place where I'm just like, I would like to, uh, just have a little muscle definition. I don't even mind having like a little belly. I don't give a shit. Just a little bit of muscle definition. I want to be big, but like natty big, you know, I've no interest in having to butter up doorways to like get through them. I would love you know? to wear a size 34 pants. I think that's what I wear. There you go. I, there, there it is. I would yeah. I would love to go in a store and not question, do they have a circus clowns size pair of pants that I can purchase? Dude, I felt I felt so bad. So this is a good time to clear this up. I just wanted you to know I think about it quite frequently, and this is a good segue. Um when we were trying to decide merch for Cream Crew and they were doing like they were sending samples to everyone. And the guy was like, oh, you know, we can have, we've got the 3X or whatever. And you said something like, do you have a 6X? I thought that was a, you were like joking around because I didn't know that was a thing. And so I put 13X lol. <laughs> and then forever afterwards, I was like, this, oh my God. Like when I realized that 6X is real, I was fucking mortified. <laughs> Yeah, I had, like I, I, to be I had, fair, like made a joke at your expense. Like to be fair, that. I don't. To be fair, I don't wear a six X, but you know, it's not like I'm the farthest off from that. I'm still a fat, gargantuan piece oh, of okay. shit. Okay, so it was a joke. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Well, then fuck. But That's see, it's then. in the, it's a, it's still in the realms of believability. That's why it plays so well. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was worried about that too because then oh, he he said something about like we don't make parachutes. I was like, oh man, I hope that's not real. Oh man! <laughs> oh man! Oh. I tell you, I, I tell you what, I uh, silently watched. You know, the worst part about getting fat besides like heart attack and all that stuff is that like regular graphic tees look so stupid. <laughs> the graphic is so small because the oh. shirt is so massive, <laughs> but the printer doesn't get any bigger, so it's like the tiniest print <laughs> draped across the fattest body. <laughs> Oh, so I love it's, it. It's just like this little thing. You've which got I was this sick death metal print, but just the size of a credit card in yeah. the middle of your chest. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. savage. It's brutal. That's and cool. That's... You're gonna get on the Ozempic, and you'll be all right. Yeah, I'm gonna get on Ozempic. Be funny if would I got you, on um... Ozempic and I just got way, way fatter. Yeah, that would that'd be rough. Okay, you, so I thought this was supposed to do the opposite. <laughs> what happened? What the hell happened here? Well, Mr. Hancock, you carried on eating 13 pizzas a day. <laughs> yeah, so? <laughs> so? Well, is Empik supposed to kill your appetite? Uh, it did, it did. <laughs> yeah, it, it did, but I was uh, challenging myself. <laughs> oh, they even have, they have uh, the way you can take it. Is it seems like a pill, or you can take a pen. A pen, like a vape. Wait, do you have to? Is it both a pen? No, like a diabetic pen. You stab it into your fucking leg, probably. Uh. <laughs> Just yeah, you got to penetrate through the like three inches of fat. Just like, Dah! oh my god, that sucks. I don't want to have to stab myself with this. Can you not just take the pill? I think you have to. I think the only way you can take it is a pen. You got you got to really like if you're thinking about this seriously, look into it because I'm pretty sure it can fuck your shit. Is up. it like reverse HGH? <laughs> like you stab the parts you want to make skinnier? <laughs> no, like those, I bet those, it just probably goes to your bloodstream. I think uh, that'd be insane. Yeah. Dude. If you had fat feet and you had to stab your feet, that'd be insane. <laughs> no, I, and also at the top it says for adults with type two diabetes, and I don't have diabetes yet. So give me a look. Well, give me give me a couple more months, baby. Maybe I'll be there. Well, I guess I'm just guess I'm just gonna have to. Drink well, a lot I guess of I'm just gonna have to get more coke in me, and more of those Totino's party pages. Oh, um, Totino's. That's right. Take oh, oh, This is taking Ozempic. Take Ozempic uh, once a week on the same day every week, exactly as prescribed. So you only take it once a week. Well, that's not bad. I thought I was going to be stabbing myself every day. Okay, so you've got twenty percent chance of nausea and a nine percent chance of vomiting, eight percent chance of diarrhea. I feel like a lot of these issues uh, overweight people have to deal with anyway, though. So how do you even know if it's the medicine? Yeah, or exactly. The medicine. I just have diarrhea yourself. every day. All I do is eat cheese. I'm just like <laughs> diarrhea every fucking day. 
Yeah, yeah the Ozen pick is being weird. Time. I'm like drizzling like shredded cheese over nachos or like chips and I'm putting in the microwave. Yeah, I got all this diarrhea from Ozen pick. <laughs> <laughs> I got chorizo. It's like chorizo meat and fucking like chips and cheese. God damn, I'm just slipping through me with this Ozen pick. Jesus well, Christ. We gotta put a warning label on this stuff. It's pretty <laughs> potent. Pretty potent. I've been having to buy way more toilet paper. Kidney problems or kidney failure, serious allergic reactions, gallbladder problems. Thyroid tumors. Yeah, most common side effects are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain, and constipation. You have never been constipated before in my life. Isn't that weird? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if that's weird. I think. Holy shit. I think Ozempic may cause serious. Ozempic. Yeah, well, apparently I have not had enough of cheese. Just when I thought uh, too much cheese was enough, it wasn't. Ozempic may cause serious side effects, including possible thyroid tumors, including cancer. So this thing could just immediately give you thyroid cancer. <laughs> but I look great. <laughs> But God damn, I look good, but my neck is just swollen to high hell and like my skin is <laughs> blue. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah, look like I the know. guy from Hellboy. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. One of my hands is three times bigger than the other. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you look the best you've ever looked, but your one of your hands is three times the other size. <laughs> I suppose you're wondering what happened to my horns. <laughs> well, let me tell you. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. I thought he was talking about the blue guy with the gills on his neck. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I thought you were Abe. just talking about blue, <laughs> blue uh, Hellboy. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll come along with this for this ride. I'm not the biggest Hellboy fan. I'm just uh, put that out there now. I loved, uh, I loved the first movie when I was a kid. Really I saw, good. I saw Hellboy in theaters. I think maybe four times. My dad was fell asleep for three of them. That's, yeah, that's good ambiance. Just like sleeping, just like fucking gasping for air, choking. You having a good time, Dad? You like it? I didn't care. I was too obsessed with like what was going on, on the screen. I was so stoked on that movie. It's How do you feel joke. about Guillermo del Toro in general? Like his other stuff. I love him. I love him. He isn't like I don't think everything he makes is a, like a super big home run, but I think as like a as an artist and like as especially a lot of the shit he does is just like weird and horror focused, super like Lovecrafty type stuff. So it's always, uh, uh, it's always something that he's always doing something I think I'm enjoying, but his movie like Kronos is awesome. Pan's Labyrinth is really good. I thought his Pinocchio rendition was pretty good. He, his, his whole thing is, uh, he does a lot of stuff with like fallouts of war and that kind of stuff. That's like a pretty big common theme in a lot of his work, but I liked, he had a short, he had like a, anthology series on uh netflix called cabin of curiosities he was kind of just the host and i think he produced it and other people made the shorts or whatever i don't know if he helped write any of them but that that was a lot of fun watching that last october yeah so I saw yeah i feel like he's a res respected name that i don't really know i can't think of anything he's done well <clears throat> that's more on me Pino pinocchio i liked like the first three quarters of it but i remember really being let down by the ending and then it occurred to me, Pacific Rim really fucking sucked. I don't understand the love for that. And then... Uh, I haven't seen it in forever. Like, yeah, he like not, Hellboy I'm just was huge. cool, but we were kids. Like, I wonder if it would hold up if I watched it now. So all that really leaves, at least that I'm familiar with, and, I, and like I think is the movie that makes people think of him as like a genius, is Pan's Labyrinth. Which, again, like seemed really cool. But the funny thing about movies like that, as an English speaker, is when you see them you don't actually have the capacity to judge the acting because it's all in another language. So I always wonder if like, like this could be just as cheesy as uh, Pacific Rim, but I can't like oh, bro. detect That's the like nuances. That's like Korean films to a T. Huh? Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's like Korean and Japanese like, 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 I always wondered like, Wow, if, they're so emotional. I always wondered if Parasite mm. was just like dog shit, but you, like you wouldn't be able to tell, you know? You can't, you can't hear like know. bad so wood How could you read their facial expressions? <laughs> yeah, I, say, I don't know if it's that. They different. don't even have eyes. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I don't think what, it's If like, they were more like me, I'd be able to judge if this film's good or not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's totally out of the wheelhouse for me to be like, I have no idea what's happening in front I of me. I can't connect with these people at all. Yeah. But uh, no, I don't know. I mean, the thing about like Asian culture and like their acting is it's very theatrical. So it's big. It's like really, really big. 
So like whenever they do stuff, it's like, which that's like that why a lot of that shit translates over into like anime stuff and it makes you know some of the cringy shit of like she doesn't like me ah, whatever and it's like a big like ah. whatever <laughs> i think with like pan's labyrinth and stuff i don't think it's as dramatic i think it's a lot more subtle and also it's just it's spanish it's not i don't think it's as far off to english acting as um as like korean and like other like asian culture um stuff as well, well who knows? i mean could, could be... i don't know i think pan's labyrinth i think it's a classic i think it's just in terms of like it's kind of has like a ghibli vibe to it is what i would say that's fair kind of has like that fantastical element the devil's backbone is really good too i liked chronos also but also a lot of the movies you're talking about are like big monstrous theatrical like supposed to be like big box office stuff too so they could probably be perceived as not being a you know, like like they feel cheap or shitty, but they're just trying to make a profit. So it is what it is. I haven't seen Pacific Rim in a long time, but I remember not liking it very much. But I'm also not a big like mech kind of that's guy. A, like for me, it's like how do you? That's my meat and potatoes, bro. How do you fuck up mechs versus kaiju's? It should be impossible. Yeah, W. Did you did you watch that, Tom? No, I saw the trailer. I knew, I knew from the off. I was like, "This is gonna be fucking gay." Well, according oh, really? to a lot of people, they liked it. They, they, they oh, it's, it's become a cult class. I think it flopped. Yeah, I think it flopped somehow. Doesn't but it have, it's like, become Charlie a- Hunnam in it. Uh-huh. That man makes everything he's in work. We- <laughs> Who stand and fight? Oh, oh, Charlie you stand Hunnam? your ground and fight. Is that the Sons of Anarchy guy? Uh, yeah, he's English too. So why did he butcher Green Street <laughs> so bad? Yeah. I just remember at the time. I remember as a, when I was younger when this came out. I was just stoked because Charlie Day was in it, and I was like, "Oh, awesome! Charlie Day's in you know this thing." Um, I think but, he. I think he kind of ruined. I, mean, it. I don't know. Does he? Is this character that prominent to ruin it? You think it's just like tonally, it's just all over the place. And it, yeah, he's he's just like a, it's weird. He's another man. layer of cheese that just bothers you. It's like this could have been kind of cool, you know. I love that. The, I forgot Ron Perlman's in it. Yeah, I love Ron Perlman. <clears throat> Ron Perlman rules. The thing about this shit too is like with movies like this, it's impossible. Like the I get this a lot on my channel. Um, people were like, "You don't like anything because if you say one bad thing about something, then you hate it." You know all that kind of shit. Wear it like a badge of honor, bro. No, I don't like anything. So <laughs> the what? thing is, I like a lot of stuff. But the problem is, like, you can, like... The, the problem with shit like this and trying to... You can't criticize Pacific Rim. You just can't. Because it's just... It's a big, stupid fucking robot movie where they fight giant space lizards. Like, it's just, like... You can it's, 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 it's big and stupid. Well, what I'm saying is that you can, but people, you get the, you immediately get the response of like, okay, well, it's a mech movie. Like, ooh, like, why are you being well, such that, a... Yeah, but that's because they're a fucking retarded and can't separate like whimsical subject matter with uh, execution. They think well, just because I, something's I agree. dumb. I'm just saying the like, public. I'm saying yeah, that no, like, I know. the, the I know average viewer will not be able to discern that. It doesn't make and then the whole right, thing too is me butter. saying... You're smarter. No, it doesn't, but they're the loudest. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not know about all that, but I'm just saying that yeah, you do. it's it's just one of those things where it's like, you can't ever actually have that conversation because you can't also just be like, yeah, it's dumb. Movie's dumb. I still like it's It's fine, whatever. But it's like, anytime you do that, I feel like everybody thinks it's, it's a personal attack towards your, their character. Oh, I love a dumb movie. It just has to be done well. Yeah, they can, it can be fun. It can be done in, uh. Both ways, I think. I mean, and fuck, I, I love 300. Like, that, you don't get dumber than 300. But it's fucking sick. I think a closer you know? analog is, well. like, Transformers is a dumb movie, but it's a good movie. Like, the first one, you know? Dummy thick, am I right, boys? Mm-hmm. Hooroo, hooroo, Megan Fox, hooroo! I'm trying to think about a big, dumb movie I like. That's separate from what you guys said. I'm not the big, but the thing is, but the, the like I say, I don't like Transformers, but it's just because I don't like like robots and shit. Like just, it just doesn't do it for me. You know what I mean? No, or whatever. No, also, the amount of like times I saw the fucking like animation of them transforming, I'd say Blade. I'd say Blade is there for me oh, then. Blade sick. Blade Blade one and two. I'd be like they're definitely big and stupid, but I love them. 
I love the Blade movies. I've been meaning to watch Blades, uh, the Blades again. It's been a long time. I remember two feeling like really, really dark in a in like a cool way. Like it felt those, those bad Blade guys too. and that felt like threatening. Blade two fucking rules. I didn't like Blade three very much, but Blade two was awesome. Blade, Blade three is kind of funny. I think Blade. Reasons. I think Blade two has like the cool coolest enemies, and I don't know. It's fun. It's 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 a lot. Of, I think that they, because I like the first one a lot too. But I think Blade Two is just like just a better version of the first movie. I think the next Blade should be played by Tom Holland. <laughs> yeah, that'd be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Five foot two white Tom Holland. They yeah, call him a day walker. Why does it matter? <laughs> why can't Blade be a five foot two white guy? Why the fuck? That's what it is too. Luke Goss. Awesome. He's like a uh, he's like a stuntman stuff. He plays the enemy in that, but he also played. I didn't like the second Hellboy movie that Guillermo del Toro did, or at least it's just not very memorable. So maybe it wasn't as good. But all I remember it's, is it's called the sweet golden scene with like a dark elf flipping around. Yeah, that's the golden army. Is he's the main elf guy in that? But then in Blade Two, he's like the main vampire villain. But I think he did all of his own stunts and shit. If I remember, I just remember I, I always thought he was cool. He always played a good bad guy. It's always so tragic to me when there is like a strong element in something that is otherwise kind of like shit. Because like, there, what's the film I'm thinking of? There's a film I saw recently, or I can't remember, but the broad point is is there were so many parts to it that were done right but it was still let down by like its narrative or something like that and it just makes you feel like man what a fucking waste the hobbit's kind of like that mm. like the casting of um young bilbo and stuff and the fact that uh gandalf uh whatever his name is ian mckellen's still alive and stuff it's like stuff like that it's just like yeah because i really i really thought the casting for like yeah martin freeman i think is a great bilbo cast there yeah I don't know the th the thing about I I, I don't know I, th I I really wonder if it, if that would have came first if it if there would have been a complete different trajectory because also it's a CG mess I know people don't like the CG and stuff and all that jazz but it's also it's just uh, you have something like the most popular trilogy of all time is like an action an action adventure and it feels like the Hobbit thing is more of like it's more of like a just a fantasy adventure thing and then they kind of like tack on a big fight scene and you're like why the hell is this i also just saw the dwarf stuff honestly which is kind of cringe i was like this is just i don't want to i'm good kind of wish it was approached differently i don't know how but i just wish it was approached differently yeah no it was it was not great it was just too too corny whatever <laughs> I, also, uh, I also remember being in the theater and like looking at my friend like like, should we bounce whenever... It's like the first time all the dwarves start singing together. I was like, I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. Oh, I, liked, I liked the singing bit when they're, like, doing their little melodramatic thing. Oh, yeah. The winds were roaring. <laughs> yeah, I was like, get me the fuck out of here. No, it was nice. Well, did like, you? We gotta go. Get me out of here. This guy was doing... I'll tell you what, you want know movies rule? I I fucking love the first two parts of the Caribbean movies. Those movies rule. The first what, one I, was sick. I, I, they I, lost me on the later ones. Oh, I love the second one. So I don't I don't remember the third one very much, but the second one I thought was sick. I love I thought the Davy Jones looked fucking awesome. And also I liked the the boat a lot. Mm -hmm. But great cast. That's like a really those those two movies are super fun. I the first remember, one's obviously the best, but the the, the second one is, I still liked a lot. When I, I remember was the third one where like just some fucking great ideas, like the whirlpool gun battle. Oh, where that's the ships right. Are like, yeah. I mean, fuck, dude, it's undeniable, undeniable. Yeah. The the first one though, you're right. Like the way um Captain Jack comes in on top of that mast and then it reveals so like, good. Sink it, like, bro, oh, J Johnny so Depp kills it. There's a lot of good stuff because I feel like a lot of the, that movie could have been so uh, movie could have been so stupid with like what is it Kira Knightley's Elizabeth Swan and then like Will Turner Orlando Bloom I could see those characters being so annoying but I actually I liked them in in uh, both movies. like the whole I like their characters a lot in all the movies also uh, Jeff uh, Joffrey Rush as Barbosa he rules too yeah no for real Everyone actually it actually felt like a pirate movie which is cool versus like good. like it's just a juxtaposition sorry to cut you off is like no, no, i was no. i was thinking about it mostly whenever we like the live action one piece thing came out and i was like if this is like wh what kind of fucking pirate thing is this that's is the this single a most frustrating episode of cream crow i've ever sat through <laughs> well it is unequivocally and unironically the best show <laughs> oh, of all time oh, i just was oh, wondering 
Hey, just uh, just to bring it back to the whole underground dwarf thing. This is my little segue. You guys hear about that fucking crazy tunnels under New York? <laughs> the, the people call the Jew tunnels? Fry. <laughs> what the fuck? I haven't looked into it yet. I just know it's a synagogue or the New York City s- synagogue tunnel incident. What is what is what happened there? I don't know much about it either, but the only, the only thing I see here is sorry, it's just a secret tunnel in New York City synagogue leads to a brawl between police and worshippers. Yeah, there's just this like giant group of Hasidic Jews like tipping over benches and shit, and that you see like one of them emerge from like this fucking like drain pipe and like <laughs> tries to like he like looks left and right and like tries to hide he, he almost like um you know in american football where they like they, they bait the person to go one way and then they like go the other way he almost does that and it kind of you know it's kind of funny because that outfit makes it hard to tell them apart so maybe he fucking just like <laughs> blended in and and escapes whatever but I don't think anything that requires underground tunnels is usually a good thing. A small sect of Hasidic Jews had built an elaborate system of underground tunnels beneath the streets of Brooklyn for no immediately clear reason. <laughs> this is a, I'm, I'm, I'm quoting the Rolling Stone here, by the way. But it also sparked an onslaught of anti-Semitic conspiracy theories with some well-known far-right personalities suggesting the tunnel was being used for nefarious trafficking purposes, playing into notorious anti-Jewish tropes or drawing comparisons to tunnels made by terrorist group Hamas referring to them as Jewish tunnels or Zionist tunnels. To be fair, Secret I've got, t- they did pull a mattress with a big ass stain on it, like out of the wall. Oh, okay. But well, yeah, here. The, the sorry, let, let, me, let me just keep reading this thing one second. Secret underground tunnels, blood soaked mattresses, <laughs> baby strollers, getting real strong Simon of Trent vibes here. One influencer wrote, referring to a dangerous anti Semitic blood libel conspiracy theory from Middle Ages involving the murder of a Christian child that resulted in 15 members of the Jewish community being burned at the stake. That post has racked up 1.2 million views on X, including 3,000 retweets. Yeah, so I, I don't. So the whole thing is just like. Was the brawl that like where the where the cops just like wait what what the fuck is that and they're like they know <laughs> and they like, ran off or beat them up tunnels <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I all I saw was like Jew tunnels and I started laughing and <laughs> I didn't make it much further than that but it's pretty like I do you know not to be one of the uh, right wing conspirators but I do have a couple theories myself. <laughs> Oh, I, so it's sorry. It says ten men were arrested following the dispute with New York City Police Department Bro, officers. Hunter, huh. you can't you can't let me finish with that and then not continue to like. <laughs> <laughs> I just stop anyway. on not to be a right wing conspirator, <laughs> but you got to let me finish sorry. out the joke. I was to be completely fair. I wasn't even listening. I was like reading this, trying to find a reason to what the fuck this is. Go ahead. Sorry. I was just gonna say my theory is that, that that's what they're using to fucking smuggle Abigail Shapiro's breast milk in and out of the city. So it's an elaborate system of commerce. That's, really that's all what, I wanted to get at. I wonder if it just like leads to different buildings around the area or something. They're probably trying to find where she lives. Like hopefully they tunnel up into <laughs> one apartment. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue reading this thing. Yeah. Okay. Ten men were arrested following a dispute with the New York City Police Department officers at the uh, Shabad. Lubavitch World Headquarters in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, a synagogue catering uh, to adherents of the insular Orthodox Jew uh, Jewish movement. The reason structural engineers were attempting to fill in a mysterious secret tunnel, which had been illegally excavated underneath the building, and a group of young men turned out to protest. So basically, yeah, it seems like structural engineers are just like, you cannot do this. Like the building will fucking collapse. And I guess Why? whenever they went there, the people like came out and they're like, you know. You're not going to fill in this tunnel. We need it. And that's what the... the <laughs> we out. need this fucking tunnel. I, the thing is, I wish I knew what they needed it for. Well, that's the question, isn't it? Yeah. I heard one if you're thing. being If you're being charitable... Well, they're, they're, if you're being charitable... Yeah, they're trying to expand you could the say very like, expensive real estate in New York. You know, we need more space, so... That was definitely not the direction I was going, but that's an interesting perspective. I think that's... The, I, I saw that put forward. It's interesting. What are you going to say? Yeah, but then why the like I don't know, whatever. My my charitable thing was gonna be Talk like to me, uh, if you're if you with everything going on right now, yeah. If I was Jewish, I'd be getting kind of squirrely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like maybe <laughs> some fucking escape tunnels wouldn't be such a bad idea. That's fair. Mm-hmm. But um <laughs> what, the, the funniest I just the funniest know. part of it for me is I heard there were people like years ago, there's like old tweets that people found of like this guy 
that lived next to the synagogue or whatever and was tweeting that he swears up and down he's hearing Yiddish in his walls, like under his <laughs> under his floor. And he's like, there's, there's no basement. There's nothing under my house. And I hear Jewish guys like... I hear Jewish whisper, yeah, whispers whis- under my whispering. house. Yeah. It, it Did, just, <laughs> could it be anything involving like them, like homeless, like a homeless problem thing? Or do you think it's literally just them for transportation? Transportating oh, where? Though? I did. Was it, is there an out tunnel? Is it like? What's well, so I don't well, know? Maybe, is maybe it is like an well, escape tunnel or something. You know. It's well, not even an escape dots. tunnel, but if it was just something where it's like the like a like a a, a a cavern of connected things that connect to other buildings and stuff. When I lived in Brooklyn, I saw Hasidic Jews um, in like very certain spots, but it was like only in in certain areas. Like they. Uh, like there was a lot of them that lived in certain areas of Brooklyn. I don't know which spots exactly, but part of me wonders if it's just like, if they are in that like small knit of an area, do they just like have like connecting routes between shit? I don't know why. Yeah. Most people connecting it's, routes are pavements though. Well, that's what I mean is like, well, I'm confused because like, I don't think I've ever been to a city that's easier to commute, like travel in than New York. Yeah. It's busy, but like the subways are pretty fucking fast <clears throat> like I mean, it's it's pretty easy to get around the city in all fairness so it's just like I, I don't know i'm confused they're trying to transport the philosopher's st- the sorcerer's stone in secret <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i don't that's that's interesting though what's interesting too is the uh <laughs> guy here in the yiddish underneath him is really funny <laughs> it's also it's also scary we all called him crazy you know like what the imagine when you don't know you, what imagine you don't know Yiddish is. laying down crucifixes on his floorboards <laughs> 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 imagine you don't know what yiddish is you're just like what the fuck is going on what is this yeah fuck dude oh man yeah i don't i don't know what a weird, what a weird fucking story to come out. It's just so comical. It's so darkly funny. I don't, so, I don't know. Sometimes the universe is something, something else. It's one of those things too. Do you think that like, <laughs> I was thinking about this today. I'm doing a video on this guy called Pamper Chew. I don't know if you've ever heard of him, but it's a guy. He kind of has like enough, uh, inf- not as much infamous, infamacy as like Chris Chan or anything, but it's like, um, he kind of has a following like that. Like he's a lol cow kind of guy, but the whole thing about him is that he likes taking used diapers from trash bins and trash cans and shit, microwaving them and rewearing them and squishing them with his feet and stuff. But there's like, uh, there's people online called ABDLs, which is adult baby diaper lovers. And people are like, this guy's giving us a bad rap. You know, we just like, we just like wearing diapers. We, you know, we buy our diapers. What the fuck is going on with this guy? Do you think other Jewish people were just kind of like, do you think that they were in support of this tunnel? Or were they just like, what the fuck? It's like, now you're just giving, cause like all of the heinous, heinous anti-Semitic shit I saw like after this was crazy. Tons of like Pennywise the clown with like racist Junos and stuff, all that kind of stuff popped up. So I wonder if they're just like, God damn it. They f- these fucking guys got to just, they have to make their stupid fucking tunnel to make us all look weird. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would a hundred percent feel like that's probably the response, especially cause it's like the, the Hasidic Jews as well. It's like the super Jews almost inherently. They're like separating themselves probably from the rest of the community, just in terms of how like, um, devout or whatever they are or how traditional and stuff so there's probably already that kind of i don't know what why am i giving a lecture like i know any of this shit <laughs> that would be my assumption if there, yeah if there was a bunch of english people in new york city who were like i don't know mega mega english like turbo english and they started fucking digging tunnels everywhere i would probably be like come on guys what the fuck hmm. or what would the english equivalent be not tunnels What would what would they be doing in New York City? Yeah, well, tu- uh, the whole t- the the unfortunate thing about the whole tunnel thing is it neatly plays into you know anti-Semitic tropes like rats and all that stuff. So what would the like the English trope be instead of tunnel digging? I don't know. We're just too good, too nice. Yeah. Everyone loves us too much. Probably nothing. Uh, there's literally what do we stereotype for politeness? I guess. <laughs> 
I had something shoved up my ass earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Oh, that's a good. That's a good segue. Yeah. Waiting for a lull. Did you fucking you get in your prostate tickle? Yeah, I had to. I was prostate update or uh, excuse me, hemorrhoid update. I was getting my hemorrhoids checked out, and they they stick this fucking like. I didn't get a good look at it. I just caught a glimpse. But in my glimpse, it looked like... You're caught, hey, Doc, you're blocking my view. Yeah, what, what is that? What, what, what you would want to see? Like, what is that? What? what? <laughs> how big, how big is it? What oh, is the shape? You didn't see the instrument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't see the instrument? I just, oh, wow. I vaguely, I vaguely caught a glimpse of it. And in my hazy memory, it looked like a uh, sort of traffic cone shaped, but transparent. And, um... Dude, there's a lot of porn like that. Is there? Well, just so you know, see through dildos so you can see all the weird pink squishy bits. Oh, uh, I see. Well, I think that must be what it's about. Like, they... Or this is just totally oh, right, made up and how my view. memory is, you know, constructed this thing. But I think they could sort of stick it up Don't worry, there. Don't you won't remember a thing. <laughs> Peer at the, uh... It kind of creates a window to, like, check it all out. So wait, were you were you uh, sedated? No. Uh, so why did you have a blurry memory? Was it that? Traumatic? No, no, no. I just didn't see much of the thing because he tells you to get on the table and pull your pants down. So it, it was like during that process. <laughs> face face the wall. Don't look at me. You know. <laughs> don't fucking look at me. <laughs> so okay, tell me tell me more. What's it like? Poof. <sighs> It's, uh, it, I'm not into it, as it turns <laughs> out. I think a lot, a lot... It's illuminating. I think a lot of guys, like, you might wonder, you know, would I... I don't want to ever try that, because I might be into it, and then what? But I have the luxury of knowing. And then I'm fucking and gay? And then I'm fucking gay. <laughs> but... <laughs> then I've got to dump my girlfriend on a fucking gay? <laughs> Babe, it's been great, but I love things up my ass. I'm sorry. As it turns out. Well, I could just put something up your ass. No, babe. No. That would make me even Stop gayer. Stop being fucking weird. It, it, to be fair, it probably would make it weird, you know? You think so? It's, I had a buddy a, that liked having a pinky up his ass. No, I get it. Like, I get the idea of it, but I just think that it throws the power dynamics way off. Mm. <laughs> the power dynamic? You think? Yeah, if I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to maintain a certain level of respect as a man in my household and she knows and I know that at one point she was fucking fingers deep, like controlling me like a hand puppet. If you're trying to tell me that wouldn't make you guys closer and like that to me, I, I don't know, man. I think that it, it not only it creates more respect, but then also, you know what it does is it uh it, it, it tell it, it, it shows a confidence in a man. Because also at the same time, too, if anything, it's more threatening for the woman because he's just like, you know what? After a while, you don't know if those little fingers are going to do it. Better count your days there, <laughs> sweetheart. Who knows what's going to happen? You better learn how to pump with them little hips of yours. <laughs> Come on, pip squeak. Get up here. To generate the, pound of f the pounds of force you need. So. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. And then you have to graduate to the kind of beings that do have the anatomy to generate that kind of thrusting power. And then you're gay again. It's You'd be really funny circle. though, is if you just if you were well, I, I mean, I, not if you were you were gay, but if if like uh, <laughs> if you're like just like, you know, I love my wife, I do want to be fucked up the ass like, desperately, and <laughs> instead of just like being like, well, I sh you know, I'm probably just gay, like it's probably you know, I'm not attracted to women anymore or whatever, blah blah blah. If you this woman had to have like a fucking DeWalt drill with like <laughs> these like crazy things, <laughs> like legitimate power tools and like shoving it up your ass and stuff. More! You know how many, you know how many times people would probably get in fights? Like, what do you mean you didn't charge the battery? What the hell what do, do you, you mean? mean you got a Milwaukee? Oh god. <laughs> oh that's fucking horseshit. You come in here and you're gonna shove that in my ass with a Ryobi? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me right now? You don't even know who I am, do you? 45 years of marriage and you don't even know who the hell I am. 
Yeah, God. And then they, you fucking, you see the, because that's the thing, right? With like post nut clarity and everything, it just instantly your whole the whole veil well, that's, like that's sheds from your face. That would be my problem. Is I know that like if I sat there and somebody was tapping my prostate and I had a big fucking splooge in my belly and I'm like holding my ankles and everything. As soon as the <laughs> splooge came out, it would just be the darkest. <laughs> like my face would go pale and I'd be like, so. Uh, Excuse me. You know, get up and have to like. You have to do the waddle the, to the yeah, bathroom. Exactly. While oh. in the bathroom, my asshole's all fucking, you know, loosened up and probably farting and shit. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's savage. Then you gotta. Then you gotta fucking see see the instrument of your demise in the dishwasher the next day. <laughs> yeah. Well, putting together a cabinet would never be the same for sure if you're using the power <laughs> tools. The uh. This is true. The uh. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, you pav- dude, you Pavlov yourself to get fucking rock hard every time any yeah. kind of construction's <laughs> going on. Oh, God. Someone operating a drill in here? Yeah, just tons of pre-cum. It, oh, my God, fuck. Oh, maple syrup pants. Maple syrup pants. Oh, God. So sticky, oh, so right. sticky, so sticky. <laughs> sticky, sticky, sticky. Yeah, I mean, even like with regular sex, too, I I, I always feel comfortable afterwards. It's always it's, it's kind of embarrassing. That's funny. It's always like that moment where it's like the fun is definitely like it's almost like it's clipped out of the air. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. That was fun. <laughs> I don't know. Have you, ever, have you ever come so hard you farted? No, I've never farted. Ah, oh, bro. That happened to me once. <laughs> that must have been. I like to think that it was a big airy fart with like a little bit of crackle <laughs> at the end. And it was like something we were like, oh! <laughs> it was. To be fair, I was I was young and inexperienced. It's not my fault, but it was it was intense. You didn't know it was very it was funny. Going. I will say, no, no, I mean I was just like fucking pushed too hard. You know, I got too. In- it just happened. Mm. Leave me alone. I, you know what though? Like on this subject, I guess you got to be to careful. Think about, like, trying to think about how loose my asshole would be while I'm doing that to let a fart slip out. You were really running free. I feel like I'm pretty conscientious about that. I don't know, man. That's like even a young age. <laughs> <laughs> trying to put myself in your shoes and trying to sympathize with you a bit, but I'm like, how the fuck did you let that happen? You ever, okay, well, put, put this way. You ever, you ever fucking nut and you really try and, like, milk it for all it's worth, pun intended, where it's just, like, really fucking... Yeah, you're even that going was, down and you're squeezing your balls to, like, get all the nectar out. I was literally, I was just like... <laughs> and I just like... <laughs> 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 ah, ah. I think I get, I think I get what you're saying. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Saying, I understand. Did you break as if did you did you break as if you were a girl queefing? You ever have that happen? Like oh you ever have sex with a girl and they're queefing like, oh my god, sorry, whatever. Did you do that? <laughs> no, I think like Oh my no, god, it was, I'm it so was, sorry. It was followed by like immediate eruptious like eruptious laughter. Like, <laughs> it's funny. It's oh, funny. Okay. Yeah, but, see like, if I if there's any laughter in there, I I have to stop. I can't do it. Like it's done. Well it was the second the, the brief second after it happened, I remember my eyes widened like in shock. <laughs> in brief shock and fear. I felt like a baby lamb about to be slaughtered. Panic and if, you, if, you you could, in the face. if you could replicate it with if you could replicate it with your mouth, what would it sound like? Oh, it wasn't like a big air. It was just a. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it'd be funny saying, too if it was like, just if it smelled super rancid and you guys laugh and you're trying to continue and she's like, oh, yeah, it kind of stinks. And you're like, I don't know. Okay, what well, could do? Or stop? Or <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to continue just smells with a like diarrhea in the room. Cum. I'm trying to continue with a half chub of Johnny full of a Johnny full of cum and fart in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. I keep trying to say this, but you gotta be fucking careful. He's listening to this shit because I kind of when I'm on this when I'm talking about stuff, I kind of operate in the idea that it's just this bubble that's never gonna go anywhere. Mm. But I was fucking some fucking girl hit me up the the other day who I knew when I was like a teenager, and mm. uh, she was <clears> like, <throat> "Oh, I heard your voice coming from <clears throat> like my boyfriend's room." And it turns out, like, he was, he listens to, he was watching Big Brain, but he also listens to Cream Crew and shit. And, you know, I told my, like, virginity loss story on Cream Crew. Uh, oh, watch out, oh, buddy. No. It wasn't, it wasn't her. It wasn't oh, okay. her. But her boyfriend asked her if it was her. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
but in any case, my point is, is like, well, you know, that that girl who I did lose it to is out there. And maybe she fucking hears it. And they're like, ah, oh, you just don't think about it. Or at least I don't because I'm stupid. And now I'm all like self-conscious. Like, what have I said? <laughs> what have I said? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think we've said anything. We also don't ever say anybody's name or anything like that. Or, yeah. you know. Also, every time, almost every, any, well, actually, pretty much every story we ever say is always, you know, that we, we, I think that we look in the wrong or like look, look dumb. Do you ever think it about the girl who farted? Do you ever think about your kids listening to your brain through library one day? I don't give a shit. Fucking Fuck them. Nah. No, I mean, I don't. I, I think they would, if anything, my kids would think I'm super rad and really funny. I would have already told them these stories. I, why can't I do this? You did this when you were fucking 15. Mm -hmm. What would you say? I'd say, uh, well, I live to regret it, kiddo, so. But, Dad, you're super wealthy. Animating. You have your own cartoon series. What do you mean? Well, son, I died at 35 from suicide. <laughs> so. I don't know how you're asking me this. <laughs> Yeah, that's why my dad killed himself at 35. <laughs> <laughs> I was only two, so I never even knew him. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I guess I'm with you. I just don't. <laughs> you know, it's not you, that bad. You, know, you Tom, is, I feel like, Tom, you'd leave a... You, if you're going to kill yourself, I feel like you'd leave a, a video message for your kids. Hello, oh, 100%. Hello, boy. <laughs> oh, dude, I've thought about it. I haven't thought about killing myself, but I thought about if I did kill myself, I would 100% leave like, I don't know, th at least 40 years of birthday well wishes. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Big, big 11th oh, birthday. Big boy, aren't you? <laughs> I only have girls, but in my head, it's I've just made videos for boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you're starting to learn about the birds and the bees now, eh? <laughs> Probably getting yourself some sniz, chasing some skirt. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they like to be grabbed by the muff hair and, and throttled. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little trick you, from your old man. Don't tell your you mother, have, I told you. You have the talk with what you think is your son, but it's uh -huh. just your daughter. <laughs> so, yeah, pull their hair hard. They love that. Just Spank them in the ass. Em. Slap them. <laughs> Give them a good slap. <laughs> when you come, come on the belly or the back. Uh, but try not to fart. <laughs> Yeah, but if you let it fart, <laughs> <laughs> try not to fart. If you do fart, if you do fart, just have a good laugh. Like all yeah, just laugh you know, if That's how you know you found the one. <laughs> that's not your mother, by the way. The whole time, too, you're branding the gun that you're gonna kill yourself. <laughs> Yep, things didn't go so good for your old man, <laughs> <Yeah>. eh? <laughs> Wish it could have been better. Oh, well. Well, do as I is. say, not as I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you record yourself it with one of the tapes? I feel like, I don't know, just in case someone wants it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wish I had that video. <laughs> I, I could mark it. Like, I mean, tell me it wouldn't be. I, I guess the narcissist in me wants one of you to like use it as some sweet like fucking thumbnail or album cover or I don't know something. Yeah, I mean, with, what you couldn't put the video up without it getting removed is the problem. You could no, have I it know, on illegal. Could, could live link or something somewhere, like above your fireplace. <laughs> Just a picture of you killing yourself, or like what? Yeah, I don't know. That sounds metal, dude. Oh, freeze, it's one of those. It's burn. one of those moving picture frames. Oh yeah, those are yeah, nice. It's just like the pictures from Harry Potter. It's like a. It's like the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> server <laughs> snakes most wanted letter. So it's just Tom killing himself. <laughs> it would have to be a Harry Potter novelty frame as well. Like the whole product. That would yeah, be so much fun. <laughs> Whenever you click it too, there's like sound to the video, like there's the audio, but then in the background there's like a super compressed like. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> you guys are kind of talking me into it. I'm not gonna lie. I I probably wouldn't want that. I don't think I'd accept that. No, yeah, well, at least someone should make us some jewelry out of my skull fragments. You reckon I could sell it? I wonder if you can sell. Something. I would make me sad. Honestly, that would make me No, 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 not just the one. So I get the video, right? And then on... That doesn't make me feel better, dog. On, fl on flashkids.com forward slash shop, there's like Harry Potter, you know, I, video listen, of Tom killing himself. I don't want a single cent. <laughs> I don't want a single cent of that going to, to you, <laughs> you son of a bitch.
you, know, <laughs> to you. you gave me the fuck. Fo- yeah, you know, it'll say like 2% go to Tom's kids. 2% of the proceeds go to Tom's kids. I would do, I, if I'm killing myself, I'm going to have a contract drawn up. Like a will, you know. Okay. You know, I do. I take one of your teeth and I'd make a ring out of it. A little ring tooth. Okay, that's kind of cool. Because, you know, I'd say, I'd be like, he was the only British person to ever actually get his teeth fixed. And I think that that's. Yeah, nice. And I, it's nice. And I think that that needs to be celebrated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's. You could get my whole, like, just my whole set of teeth and. Well, one point, like I think, like, I, I, I unironically think that people would think that, okay, for I'm not going to make a fucking bracelet out of your teeth, dude. <laughs> that it's would like make some a Texas cool Chainsaw bracelet. Mask or shit. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. That would be kind of like, cool. If you, if you, you can have, like, one little thing. It needs to be tiny. Like, if anything, if I had a ring and it was, like, just, like, the, fr- like, you know, like, those black onyx rings where it's, like, there's the band, but then there's, like, the big black stone in the middle. If you did, instead of the big black stone, it was just, like, part of your cranium. I think that's subtle enough to where people are like, wait, what is that? And you're like, yeah, it's my friend's fucking skull. Blast his fucking brains out of water. That would be sick. If, if I had several pieces of jewelry, though, at a point, I think people would be like, this is disgusting. You're a bad person. <laughs> would, could would one say. of you wear my eye around your neck? It would deteriorate. It would, like, ev- no, like, like vanish. No, like, you coat it in some something that's good or whatever. You know what I would do? If you, if you end up doing this and I'm old enough to where I could use a cane unironically... I would put it, it'd, it would be like the little mosquito in the old man's Jurassic cane. Park. Yeah, I would do that. <laughs> I'd do that with your eye. That would be cool, dude. A little <clears throat> eye, an eye cane. That would be, that'd be cool. Yeah, that would be nice. All I right, well, I, yeah, happy ha- happy uh, episode. I we was about it. to start dissecting both of you, but I guess it's time, isn't it? It is time. We have to save it for another episode in the future. That's true. That's fair. Perhaps the premium episode. I'm going to go. Sign up to Cream Crew Patreon. That's the one. Patreon.com forward slash Cream Crew. For... I just want to say I would take Don's nose and I would put it as the horn for my car in the center of the steering wheel. So when I give it a squeeze, it goes honk. <laughs> that would, that's just all I'm saying. That would smell so gross after a while. <laughs> oh, no. Honk, honk. It would smell nice. That would be so vile. Yeah, that would be fucked. You could with with my fat body, you could repolster your entire car if you want. <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah, that'd be sick. Where do you put Hunter's hair? I'm gonna go die. Like where does my your hair? where does your my face? Hair would be nice. well, where does your face on the upholstery go? Like the headrest? Do you put yeah. it in the back seat so somebody can sit on me? Oh, that's nice. Oh, ah, yeah, nice. I would I would do that for you, bro. Yeah. Yeah, make it the most un... Can you imagine getting in the backseat of a car and you're like, what's that? Oh, it's my friend's face. And you have to sit on it. It's so gross. He likes the ladies, he does. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He likes the ladies. By this point, it's like, your car is so outdated. It's, um, it's the same car you've had since 20, like 20 or whatever. And it's uh-huh. like, it's 2075. And people are like, God, this like old ass fucking car. In a combustion engine. <laughs> Yeah, people are like, I don't know if we should get a ride from this guy. Get it, ladies. And then I fucking do it, Uber, be do. <laughs> you do Uber that way. Your Uber is like a fucking cannibal murderer who skins people and like keeps adding to his car. They call it the flesh mobile. I like that. All, All right. right. I'm going to get off here and I need, I'm going to yes, go sir. die. All right, cool.